Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, and welcome to Sunday. This yeah. is where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second, so make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second. And yeah, it's a Sunday. It is a Sunday. Um, I feel like we just did this <laughs> two days ago. We did, actually, two days ago. Yeah. Um, but we missed the Wednesday. Yes, we did, yeah. Because um, it was make up really, make yeah, really busy, yeah. so I had to shift things all forward but I did want to make sure that we got all the games in that I had planned and don't leave them too long because there's mm. like new games coming out all the time mm. and you new updates. You want to jump on those new games. Oh cats are fighting. Yeah. Making noise. Yeah. Um, yeah there was a uh, Deanoid messaged me. Yeah. Uh, about hey Deanoid. Hey Deanoid. Yeah. Oh he's here. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Speak of Deanoid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he said there he has a new final build of Tower of Rubble. Oh. And cool. so I was like, well, well, we have to do a we show now, that, definitely yeah. on Sunday. Um, <laughs> yeah. And also there was um, the 2020 Harmony Games um, with, with Zookeeper. And we did play that a couple of weeks ago and mm. put in some scores. But I wanted to make sure that's my top score that I can okay. possibly do. You're going to give it another shot? Yeah. So what I usually do with the Harmony Games is I play the game at the beginning and kind of set a bar a level for myself and then try and play it again right before like it's due so i think tomorrow is the last day still on top excellent <laughs> but i want to do my best anyway yeah <laughs> um, so that covers two games that we're going to be playing today tower of rubble um and we're also going to be playing text adventure 2 and this is a, an exclusive premiere of it um mm. so it hasn't been posted or even talked about in the atari age forums uh, and that's by Sartor, Sartor's Faction. And, of course, Zookeeper, as well uh, by John Champo. Nice. And that is for the um, Harmony Games. Yeah, and, I'm excited for And you'll for be able to put games. in a score for oh, yeah. Zookeeper because yeah, you weren't I haven't, the, here for it. I can't say I've 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 played quite as much as, as you have. So. That's fine. <laughs> we'll Just see. putting in a score is yeah, good. It's a fun game, though. I know we... we didn't we play... Um, not the, well, not the original really Zookeeper. Away. Oh, it's yeah. okay. Um, but we were playing a version off of the PS3, were we uh, at one point? Yeah, PS2? PS2. In, yeah. Let me put this down a bit. And I think you were just trying to compare. Yeah. Compare versions at one point, so. Yeah, I was just, and for practice as well. Yeah, just um, to get a feel. Yeah, to get a feel. And it's, it's virtually identical. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean. John it really Champo. was. He did a great, great job. Yeah, just yeah. like Galagon, he he does incredible ports mm -hmm. of games that feel exactly like the arcade and mm -hmm. play exactly like the arcade. And he doesn't examine any code from the arcade um, mm -hmm. versions of it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's incredible that he gets the exact same feel just by just by looking and playing yeah. the games yeah. and and getting feedback from people. Mm -hmm. And uh, PH. P1, I never know his name. P1 LH Forces, nice shirts both. Thank you very much. I'm wearing the chip that powers some of our favorite consoles. Yes, yes. The 6502 yeah. from the NES to the Atari 2600 yes. and the uh, Commodore 64. Yes. So it yep. spans a wide very range nerdy. of. Lovely, ner nerdy shirt. Mine is just a shirt, really. Bunch of flowers, <laughs> nice flowers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, spring. Both wearing black. Need some yep. spring. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, Dan ABC says, yes, April 6th at 2 p.m. Central Time is when the round ends. So make sure you are going to be putting in your scores for Zookeeper mm. before uh, tomorrow. Um, so I want to thank uh, all the Twitch subscribers um, that uh, support the show. And their names are listed beside Tanya there. Mm -hmm. You nice can read looking. along with us. I, it, it, did it suddenly get even smaller font than last it just gets yeah. smaller and smaller. More and more is people great. sign up and <laughs> yes. subscribe. It's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles Reese, Dianoid, Dan AVC, Drex, All Gradams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco 2600, Laud Mod, Mad Max 2069, Metal Lunar 7, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Money Funster, Nathan Strum, Pack Rap VG, RC70, Repentless VG, Retro Salary Man. Sir Catleg, Spartan 581, Spiceware, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Thunk is Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, and Ven Jack. So nice. I think there are some new names on there. There is. Yeah. Ven Jack is one. Ven Jack is yeah. new. 
And you can support the show and subscribe for free as well if you have Amazon Prime, which you mm -hmm. probably all have signed up to for now while you're inside. Uh, you're stuck indoors and you're looking for content. Consuming, so. <laughs> consuming yeah. content. Uh, and just link it to your Twitch Prime mm -hmm. account, which you're watching on if you're watching live. And just click subscribe. And you can support the show and it's free. Yeah. Um, and make sure you follow and subscribe and click like on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I want to say hi to everybody who is watching live on Twitch today. And we're doing an earlier show today. It's 11 a.m. here. So we're able to be joined by uh, Thomas Yanch. Yeah. Uh, Thrust 26. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Dan ABC as well. Uh, P1 LH4. <laughs> I'd like a an English kind of word to say that. I, I, I always think Phil. Phil. We're going to call you <laughs> Phil. Your name is now Phil. Yeah. <laughs> and unless you say otherwise. Hey, Gretams. And Gretams and uh, Dianoid, of course. Um, Carl G just jumped in at the bottom there. Oh, excellent. Said yeah. hello. And I think. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's Those nice. Those are all the people I've talked It's hard um, for you without Erlen and Darcy, because I know uh -huh. you like having someone here with you, mm -hmm. um, to do it during the day. During right. The week, because but you work. Because I'm still working either i'm working from home or i'm working yeah uh, we had this conversation before as much as i would like to interrupt my work day i don't think that would go over well <laughs> play games for so, two or three hours <laughs> um so sundays become a good time to do a midday show yes yeah yeah so we, yeah. we'll try and fit them in fit them in where we can yeah. for early morning shows but yeah we'll we'll just play it by ear and we'll see what we can do um because i do want somebody here yes because then I can talk and you can play and there's no dead air while I'm just staring at the screen saying, <laughs> saying like 10, yeah. 20 minutes of things while no gameplay is happening. And I know you do want to work a little more on getting both Erlen and Darcy remotely, remoting in. Yeah. And you're still working on that though. And you've been quite busy I've with I've been busy. That's why film. I haven't. The, yeah. The, the poster's still up back here. Um. Yeah. And today <laughs> I'm going to be doing a... Uh, live video viewing? chat of viewing a live live viewing party what is it watch party watch party that's the official term yeah. where people watch at home mm. the f the film and then we'll watch it here like the filmmakers myself and the director are going to be watching the film mm -hmm. and we'll be watching at the same time as everyone else at home and we'll be doing like live commentary and mm -hmm. answering questions while the film is playing yeah and we'll be doing that on Facebook if you want to join us, if you've ordered it or in, interested in watching the um, award-winning, um, top-selling <laughs> film yes. by yours truly. Um, yeah, it's a perfect 14, and, and we're going to be doing it through Facebook. Mm. So facebook.com forward slash a perfect one four. No Facebook, yeah. uh, so you don't get to see it. <laughs> can you go to the site that it's streaming off of, though? Like Facebook, some, some things you need an account for and some things you can still view. Maybe. Maybe you can go to it without like having just view a it without having the account. So it's quite possible. It's possible. So you can yeah. give it a try. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Some things you can view, like business sites, you can view outside of being signed. Yeah, in. you can look at posts yeah. and stuff. So yeah. I don't know if the live if thing, public. whether yeah, I have the no live idea. thing is allowed to yeah. be streamed without being logged in. Yeah. I don't know. Um, absolutely no Facebook. <laughs> it's blocked at the you country know, that's, level. That's that's it's, fair. It's like. <laughs> Banned in no, Europe. <laughs> some people don't support it, which is no, fine that's true. too. Yeah. No, I know. I, 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 and I, fully, I, I, have I a, fully understand. I, I do have <laughs> some friends that are like, I'm, I don't, Facebook doesn't exist. No. No, yeah, it's, that's it's fair the enough. evil. Yeah, it is um, the evil. Yeah. Um, so we have some uh, mail news and feedback. Um, some feedback from YouTube. It's too bad Matt, uh, Tari Leaf said this. It, it's too bad man uh, goes down, seems to have been abandoned. I hear the programmer had health issues. Yes, that is true. Mm. Uh, I wonder if somebody could take up the mantle and finish it. It's very fun. Um, mm. Well, that's kind of a tricky thing because it's it's their, their game. property, kind of, yeah. And somebody just taking over without permission. I mean, yeah. if, if... If they the had person, permission, that's If they had different. permission, that's yeah. totally different. Be yeah. like, yeah, go yeah. for it. Yeah. Uh, and I know Al doesn't want to put out the game. It was scheduled. It had, I think, even uh, artwork done. Yeah. Um, and it was almost ready to go because it was like that close to being finished. Mm -hmm. um, but the uh, developer got sick and obviously you don't want to put it out until it's it's finished. There are some bugs in it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I guess there's no interest in finishing it or just 
it just is done so mm. enjoy what you have <laughs> still fun it's available for everyone to download so um it, that's it's unfortunate that it's not on cartridge because it's always nice to have something in physical form and I got this message um, a little while ago. It said, hello, James and friends, family. Mm -hmm. Was wondering if I could get your mailing address. I would like to send a pack rat package your way. Mm. Um, so that's Dave uh, from Dave from Pack Rat uh, mm -hmm. Video Games, um, who also pops uh, in, pops in yeah. from time to time and is also one of the Twitch subscribers. Nice. Um, and so we are going to open that up. And he also sent me an, a, an email mm. with a zip file that he said not to open until I open up the package. So mm. I have not opened the zip file. I have no idea what's in it. Okay. Could be malicious. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he said, James, here's a zip file to go with the package I sent you. Do not open the zip file till you get the package. Oh, I, mm, maybe I could have opened the zip file. He probably means till you open the package. Yeah. Because I yeah. got it. I got the package a couple of days ago. Yeah. So then you know what the zip file is for. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's something, something physical in here, and then something nice. um, digital that he sent me. Um, so you, you have it. No, because oh. that's the public, the public mailing address. The, yes. Okay. So good. I, you can see that all you want. PO box. Yeah. Because um, it's listed on the Facebook. Hi, Metal Lunar. Hey, Metal Lunar. He redeemed, they redeemed a highlight my message for a hundred bubbles. <laughs> Whatever those are. They look like bubbles, don't you think? I don't got know what shiny, that is, yeah. shiny edge to it. Yeah. We just got Bubble Bobble for Switch. Uh -huh. Bubble Bobble for Friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah for Friends. Yeah. Um, and we've been, play we played that a little bit the other day. We yeah. played some more. We just made it through the... Just the first, like, round or something. Or, yeah. Yeah. The tutorial, tutorial level levels, or something. But very fun. Yeah, very cute. Um, it plays just, well, it plays a little bit different. It's much easier to jump on the bubbles, I it's find. It's more like a platformer almost. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, single screen platformer. Yeah. No need to hoard bubbles around here. <laughs> okay. So let's see what we have here. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Should have a box cutter. It'd be much easier. Yep. Should but I have scissors. Some. Oh, you know what it is? Yes, he just I sees do. the edges of I it. I see it. Well, I, I've seen these graphics for so much. Nice. It is nice. Spaceman Splore. Nice. A uh, Planet of Doom, which has the most unbelievable music and graphics. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In the game. Oh, look at that. So let's Very try and nice. get that. Oh, you have to straight. move it close to my face, I think. Because it, it will be. There we go. Yeah. No, there's no autofocus. No. So Spaceman Explorer. Nice. And I don't have a copy of this. So this is very exciting nice. to get. Nice. Yes. Can you make a mask from them? <laughs> no. <laughs> mask from what? Bubbles? <laughs> <laughs> um, and it says MGC10. I have no idea what that MGC10 is. <laughs> um, we did play this on the show and it was nominated. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For best graphics and yeah. best sound because, mm -hmm. oh my God. The yeah. sound and graphics in this were, are were great. incredible. Yeah. You are a spaceman ta tasked with saving your planet from space pirates. However, before that can be done, you need your spanner. Unfortunately, you seem to have left it, let it drift off. Fly through space, avoid meters, and get that spanner. Uh, mm -hmm. One player, 2019 uh, Ponsoft. So, um, let's open it up, because why, why not? not? This is the time to do it. Oh, oh, there is things inside. Oh, I don't need this in my lap. Oh, and there's a little letter. We'll open that in a second after looking at sure. the box contents here. Exciting. Mm hmm. Try not to bend the top. Because that happens almost every time. No, I did it. Yay. Uh, oh, oh, this is a special edition version of this <gasps> game. Nice. And MGC 10 stands for Midwest Gaming Classic, ah, part number 10. So this is cool. a limited edition version nice. of the game. Thanks, Pack Rat. Thank, Thank you goodness. very That's much. That's really cool. Um, I don't know how many were made, but no. this is at least number 10. So at least 10 were made. That's Sometimes great. only 10 are made for those uh, special events. Oh, some things, some goodies. Well, we've got the cartridge, of course. Um, oh, very nice. Very cool. Very nice art on the cartridge, too. Yeah. 
Ooh, yeah. It's a little bright. There we go. And a little out of focus. But it's the same as the front. Actually, yeah, same mm -hmm. as the front cover. So there you can see it in bigger form. Um, and let's take a look at what else is in here. We've got a pond sticker. And um, this pond is a playoff of a company called Ocean that used to release games back in the 80s. Cool. So, uh, and it is a British company as well, mm -hmm. Ocean. So this is Pond. It was uh, supposed to happen this weekend. Oh, that's oh, no. why. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So this is in lieu of it being released. Maybe. At yeah. the And this is another little uh, kind of postcard size. Oh, picture nice. from oh, I love the art of that. That is beautiful. It is really yeah. nice. Very, very beautiful. And we've got a manual here. Oh, maybe next year. Carl G want, uh, said he had plans to go this year. Yeah. Um, I think I've read these instructions. Yeah, I think you show. have. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So a uh, very, very nice package. It's really unfortunate that it didn't happen. Uh, the Midwest Gaming Classic didn't happen this year. As along with a lot of other gaming conventions, yeah. um, but not unexpected, considering. Yeah. Um, I was. Everybody um, will just have to store up their games for the next year. I was just saying on Instagram, the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo, which is a small convention, yes, um, just posted that uh, they're, they're can canceling uh, version nine and they're making version nine point one in twenty twenty one, which I thought was really cute. And does um, that mean version 10 will follow next year? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because that's technically cool. it's their ninth year. Right. So they're calling it 9.1. <laughs> oh, that's very smart. Yeah. So they know that, oh, something happened in 9 and this is kind of... Yeah. So 2020, they, they didn't get it and 2021 will be 9.1. So. so thank um, you very much for this very limited yeah. edition um, version of mm. the game. That's very great. And it's it's a really fun game. I mean, it's it's just like one level continuous it it's is. like an endless it's, runner yeah yeah it's a really but it is really nice it's and it does really get nice hard game. yes uh because lots of boulders or uh asteroids come flying yes. at you um but the, the really music nice. and graphics yeah. are just gorgeous some of the best i've seen in a, a 2600 game. game yeah um and it's got the little pack rat uh guy in the front mm -hmm. um very very cool and we'll open up the letter or whatever this is oh yep it's a letter um, from David Fleming. Greetings, James. Enclosed is a Spaceman Explorer 2600 limited box copy. Reasons for sending this? Just because I can. <laughs> it's a limited MGC 2019 copy, one of 20. Mm. So this is from last year then, not this year, because that's MGC 2019. Yeah, yeah, it would, yeah. Well, okay. it wouldn't come out this year unless he he had access to them i guess so, oh yeah. this is exciting yeah uh, to hopefully promote the game a little bit more by announcing a patch challenge for Splorfs. So, well nice. that's going in the next show then yeah he must he must have sent you some um images or something in the zip file you have to oh, figure out what's in the, the zip patch file. maybe oh yeah the patch uh, yeah. picture of the patch yeah. okay well, we'll have to we, check that out. we will show all of you yeah um uh it says, become a member of the Golden Spanner 4th Class Engineering Group. Mm. Once you have gained competence in maneuvering your jetpack above, above Planet Doom, you can rocket your career with the Golden Spanner Award. Achieve a score of 4,000 points or more. And you can be eligible for this to join this 4th Class Engineering Group, Lavatorial Division. <laughs> uh, um, that is definitely um, a play off of Red Dwarf. Yes. Um, because yeah. that's that's where the characters worked in. It's the, the lavatorial division. <laughs> it wasn't that. It was close to that. Yeah. Um, but they were like the lowest ranking on the ship. Okay. And one of them was just above the other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. one was third class technician, yeah. one was second class technician. Yeah, unless you just tuned in, uh, there's a huge red dwarf fan in the in the room here. So, yes. Yeah. Yes. Huge. From from the eighties. <laughs> from the eighties. Well, even now, you've, you've kept up with all the uh, new seasons, too. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And thankfully, it's getting Huge. better. Yeah. <laughs> and the new one's coming out, like, really soon. The 13th uh, season. Well, it's it's a movie. Mm. Um, it's not a season. So, anyway, none of you care. 
Oh, one person yeah, cares. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carl G cares. Uh, just send us a picture of the TV displaying Spaceman Splorf title screen with the high score. Note the game must be played on a real Atari or Sears system, and the picture should include the high score along with the game system being visible. Mm. Get a free uh, patch denoting your rank. Oh, it's a star. While supplies last, of mm. course, not forever. Um, use the customer service link at Packrat BG to be able to send your picture. Patch requires purchase of the cartridge from Packrat. Otherwise, a small fee will apply. And now that I have this, I am eligible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's really nice that's of really him to nice. send that. Yeah. I, I'm going to look up what my top score is and see if I've even no, already but qualified. You, you I should... will play it again. I wonder if it would To work... reachieve it. But it wouldn't work with that Atari sharing system. You couldn't play it and then, then Darcy play it and... Uh, no, no. Well, I do have the cartridge, uh, the uh, binary of it, a non-shareable binary. Oh, yeah, binary. because you couldn't play it off the actual cart then. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it has to be a real game. So actually playing yeah. it on the binary doesn't count because yeah. I didn't play it on a real cartridge. So I will have to redo it. Mm. Um, but all, all that being said, you could have a show where you play for it and then, then you can share it with other people like you play the binary with darcy and Aaron? no i'm no? not allowed because that uploads it to the internet the binary oh okay because it kind of resides on their server and that's not good that's not good okay yeah. no fair but enough but you could you could you could qualify here playing oh, it I locally could, yeah and then no i was could... just curious if you could share no. i mean i know it wouldn't qualify for the patch but right uh... oh yeah yeah well they played it before in the binary so yeah true but we will play it again regardless. Yes. And then talk about the patch again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, That's exciting. Note, this, note that the letter that goes along with the patch is not done at this time, but it will be done soon. The patches have been done and ready to go. Nice. Well, the letter seems like a much easier thing to do than, <laughs> than patches. Yeah. Um, sincerely, David Fleming. Well, that is really that's cool. really wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much, David. Everyone go and buy your copy of Spaceman Explorer. Yeah, so you can qualify for the patch. And now yeah. we're going to actually take a look at... Uh, if I could find it, it's way back. Got a lot of emails. Oh my goodness, where is it? Uh, so I can uh, open the zip file. It's not that far back, is it? do a search for it you might have to <laughs> yeah so pack rat oh no where is it these aren't it oh maybe I'll search for his name yeah that might help it is yeah that's the same email address is it yeah uh, I did get it I remember getting it and not opening it. Like you left the... Oh, there it is. There you are. Un unopened. Yeah, it's from a different email address. There we go. Howdy, James. Here's the file for the package. Do not unzip until you open the package. So that's different instructions than mm. get the package. So that's good. At least you did in the right order. Yeah. yeah. So now we can open it up. And it is a JPEG. And I think we guessed correctly. Yeah. <laughs> what it is oh, oh okay. look at that well wait wait, oh. wait. they can't see it here. yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> i'm excited now uh so show it show let's it show, show it. what you guys could get uh one second let's just take off that there we go so wow. there's the golden spanner uh pack rat oh i love it's it it's got the little dude and it and you know he's achieved and retrieved his spanner nice and a little light shining down he's back on some sort of planet with rocks and green <laughs> and green rather than floating in space um the rocks look very reminiscent of the ones in the game mm. and and it's obviously from pack rat games yeah because <laughs> he's put his name on it oh, so that's cute. awesome I so that it. adds yeah. another patch to mm. the very short list of patches that are available for Homebrews. homebrew games mm. and i should make a list of yes yeah. this is for spaceman explorer and four thousand right four thousand points four thousand points four thousand um points. and i don't know how many points 
No, but we'd I have to look that up. Have to look that up. <laughs> yeah. And maybe I'll do that. Yeah. That <laughs> while, is an awesome. While we're playing today. Awesome patch. I also like the wood grain of the Atari. Uh... Oh, in the background. <laughs> yes, that is a nice I little addition. I recognize that. Um, but that's not an Atari. Cause no, it looks like actual texture. Definitely not texture. enough wood grain on an Atari. to. Uh, really? Because it's only in the sides. It's not I a, guess it's that's not true. On the top, we don't right? have our Atari out. We have the uh, Junior, so. Oh, no. It's back. It's away somewhere. Anyway, it's the it's the uh, yeah. aesthetics that count. So, yes, yeah. that's right. Nice patch. Yeah. Yes, very. Oh, D Train's here and Charles Reese is here as well. Yay! With the robot love. Uh, yeah. Sorry, tuned in late. May I also jump off early, D Train? Yeah. Well, that's okay. It's, it's an unusual it's day. Well, for us, it's midday on Sundays. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that is the very cool patch um, that is available now. Uh, yeah, I guess it is available now. Um, but they just need to write the letter, and then uh, then they can send it out as soon as you score four thousand points and send in a picture. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if those details are on uh, their web page yet under their Spaceman Explorer f listing, but um, if it's not there, it's now official that there is a patch for Spaceman Explorer. Mm -hmm. um, so that is very cool. Thank you so much, David, for sending that in and allowing us to make that announcement of the patch that is available. Hmm. So we're going to get on to the first game, which is uh, Tower of Rubble Ooh. by Dianoi. Yay. And this is very, uh, very cool because this is the final build we're playing. Excellent. Barring any big bugs, any major bugs. Any major corrections. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's pretty solid. Yeah. So. It was solid, I think, the other times we played yeah. it, so... But he has added some stuff in. Oh, okay. So those things might have add, added some bugs in, but we're going to take a look. Okay. And play it. It is a one or two player game. Yeah. I... Start off one player. Yeah. So that I can read out what the changes are. Got the bu uh, button held down? Mm-hmm. Atari Vox Plus. Ready. And we've got Ready. the new Atari Vox I Plus going. And we'll wait for the screen to come up if it ever does. Um, I may need to fiddle with some things here. Get rid of the Twitch chat. Oh, yeah, but uh, there's other issues besides that. Oh, oh, thinking about it, it is... Sometimes I have to kick these um, encoders a little bit to get it going. I'm oh, thinking even more. It's maybe... Oh, no, the, uh, the Atari's not on. Let's <laughs> give that another try. Okay, hold it. Yeah. Atari Fox Plus. Sometimes it Ready. needs to be booted twice for some reason uh, until it picks up the signal. It's the frame meister that's not picking it up. Is that the yeah. issue? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, yeah. Get get rid of the chat. Get rid of the chat. Oh, yeah. well. Just so we can see what's on, what is or isn't on the screen. Well, it's not on the screen, for sure. But we'll switch over anyway because we need to. Yeah. Because it runs through the frame meister first. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, I didn't have my finger. Oh no. Ready. Definitely not ready. Okay. Yeah. Atari Fox Plus. Ready. There we go. So, at least you guys got to hear that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it is really cool. Uh, so let's switch over. There we go. Um, so this uh, game was first posted December 21st, 2018. This build is from yesterday. It is brand new. And there we go. Version 0 0.92. Uh so, Tower of Rubble, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Jump right in. There's new title screen music. Uh, are you pressing buttons? Don't press no. a button. No, I'm resetting. I know, and it, it just, I did nothing. Okay. It just starts up. Let me die then. Oh, okay. I can die. Okay. You don't have to hit the reset. <laughs> Now you messed it up. Okay. I think you can press the button and it goes to the title. I don't know. No. Okay, die. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is an 8K game. Um, up from 4K originally. Mm -hmm. So other games are Amoeba Jump, Fool's Gold, which is coming up, and Tower of Rubble. I'm going to have to reset it. Mm. 
listen Here's to Atari. He's here to join us. He's very excited as well. You gonna play some Tower of Rubble? Look at you. Yeah. So he's got ominous music. Nice. Yeah, that is a change from with before. A, with a um, clock ticking. It had no music in the before. Um, and and I said to him the um, the ticking clock is very much in line with the uh, music aesthetics of the game while you're playing because it's mm. all poof, poof, timed yeah. out. It is, yeah. There is like a metronome quality to the to the game track. Yes. Yeah. It's nice. A little water. He in in uh just a previous build he sent me. Um, there was like a constant. Trying to represent the water, oh. but it was it more sounded like just like noise. So he, he changed it pretty quickly to mm. kind of this music. Mm. Okay, so I would say go for it now. And well, as you can see, he has changed um, the layout. It's not flat to begin with. But I will go through everything that has changed. Hi James, I hope everything is well. Everything is well. And um, also mm -hmm. off the top of before the show started, um, Thomas commented that uh, no reports of anybody having the virus. That's very good. In anybody uh, on Atari Age, nobody's reported it. Somebody might have it, but um, but nobody has reported it. Yeah, well that's good. It's oh, very look good. At the colors as the uh, the beams come in. They change color from like a blue to a, a bright green. That's really cool. I didn't, didn't notice that before. Um, uh, added a new high score feature. Um, sound of the sea in the intro practice screen. Not sure if I want to keep in the final version, which he's already changed to um, metronome type music. Uh, when the game starts after the title screen, you'll now see an actual tower instead of a flat surface. Um, you do want to get over to one of those sides. Yeah. If the middle disappears. Completely? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It does. So I would move over now. Can I? Hang, hang off the ledge. No, you can't. I, how do you hang off the ledge, though? You turn around and then press down. Turn and around and press down. down. That's it's, what I'm, I'm trying to practice that because it's like you jump otherwise, which is... is... So go to the edge. Yeah. And turn around. No. Yep. And turn around. No. I... So you have to make sure you don't hold it, just tap it. Because if you hold it, he'll head that direction. So, like, that's holding. But you're saying, turn I turn around. around and push down. There ah, you go. Which, which is dangerous. Very dangerous in that situation. Yeah. Um, this also adds another dimension to the two-player mode. Because you're on either side of the tower at first. Um, besides pushing up to climb a block of pebble, moving your joystick left and right in the direction of the block will now also climb it. So he's simplified the controls. Because before, if you pushed over to the left or right and you hit a wall, mm -hmm. you wouldn't climb up the wall. You would just stand there. But now, uh, when you went to now when you go to a wall, it'll actually climb up the wall, which is which is better because it's a lot more intuitive. Um, you just have to be careful to not climb the wall accidentally when you want to stay against the side. Oh my lord! <laughs> yeah. Suicide. <laughs> that was. Uh, a lot of stuff happening at once. <laughs> yeah. Neat. So what was that, 47? Or, uh, I don't know. Really I'm, I'm still trying to play with the uh, controls oh, a little. Okay. Get a handle on it. Um, he says, this game, uh, this makes the game easier to pick up for new players. Uh, this update allows uh, players to revert climb up to down a ledge halfway through the animation. Uh, get down there. <laughs> You do. Um, that's interesting. So you're allowed, you're able to revert a climb and up down a ledge halfway through. That's very handy. This helps when you start to climb oh. a ledge. Went down the oh, your hive was 77. Uh, climb a ledge, but quickly want to go back because of falling pebble. Um, and only in the cart release, uh, support for pausing the game, the color black and white switch. Got that right now. There we go. Mm -hmm. Right shouldn't be. I'll have, to re I'll have to change that. Um, and only in the cart release support for save key Atari Vox for saving the high score. So now the high score is the high score. 
um, between games, between turning it off as well. And the card release is scheduled for this summer. Oh, not fast enough. Um, and this uh, version we're playing is the full version with the, obviously I showed you the pause and the save key Atari box support. Um, and he said, I've attached a new build that has sound effects in the intro screen, ticking clock, and dark gloomy sounds. Uh, if I don't find any bugs, this could be the final build. Okay. And if, if you want more background, definitely refer back to uh, previous uh, playthroughs of the game uh, that we did on the show. Um, because this is a um, port slash demake of a homebrew game um, that was released on, um, I believe, PC and Commodore 64. And I think this is... Oh, boy. No! Oh, my God. Okay. I thought all of that was collapsing. Now you're not as much. Now you are again. <laughs> yeah. You can hop over to the other side. How? You climb down a bit and then hop over. Oh, not oh, now. Oh, too late. Yeah. Too late. That's okay. I was. You would have died if you did hop over. Yeah. Fifty-five. Seventy-seven was my highest. Was yep. it? It's a fun game. I still feel like I don't have a total hold on the controls yet. Yeah, you have to really understand all the different moves. Because once do. once once you get that, I think then you move a lot quicker. But it um, opens more possibilities. It's the jumping. It's the jumping back and forth, and I'm still like thinking too hard about how to do how to do that. Oh my God. Yeah, it's hard to climb up quick enough. It's slow to climb up. Yes. It's slow to climb up. So if you can run away, you should run away, not. Or, or it's jump, better, better to but, put yourself in a position where you can fall yeah. or run, but not in a pit. Yeah. 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 If you're on a line when it gets zapped, you die too, right? There. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, no. Oh. Yeah. I got trapped. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It does. There's yeah. a bit of luck to this game. Really like the graphics animation on this game and the music. Like, yeah. every, everything is just stellar. What does the yellow horizontal band do? I mean, they... Um, it destroys that line. It destroys the line. So if yeah. you're in that line... You'll get destroyed. You'll get destroyed as well. So yeah. you have to stay out of the zapping zone of everything. Yeah. Sometimes it's... So like, the, edges, right the edges disintegrate. Then there's the... the um, The yellow band, zapper. which zaps it, yell, uh, zaps it that way, and then, yeah, then vertically the edges disintegrate, so. So there's three ways that things are trying to kill you. Yeah, pretty much. And you can... Uh, can you jump across? I can, but there's only one place to go, so yeah. it's dangerous. Now there's two, so... You can still end up screwed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you were trapped. <laughs> Ah! You kind of don't want to go to the edges until you absolutely have to. If you go yeah. too early, then then you're it's too easy to get trapped. I think it's better when there's three there. Yeah. Two is just not quite enough yeah. to to be safe. That is a good hint. Is to don't be in a pit. Always be up top. Yeah. The higher you are, the better off you are. I think. Yeah. You you can jump from a high high point. You can't. Climb as quickly as you can jump or drop? Yeah, dropping's fast, running across is fast, climbing is the slowest part, and you have just barely enough time mm. to climb out of the way of a new block falling down. And uh, the next game he's working on right now at the same time is Fool's Gold, which is a uh, port of Load Runner. Um, and you can see that. Oh my god. Oh, that was close. Almost, oh. That was very dumb. Um, you can see the. how he would think that Load Runner would be a, a natural progression from this game. Um, because. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, that was a oh, bad timing. Oh, bad timing. Ah! Um, what was your high score there? 69. That was pretty good. Yeah. 
If there's definitely an element of luck, you know, you jump to the wrong point at the wrong time, you get trapped. To make it past 100, you definitely have to make it onto the other side. Yes. And and, and when there's enough space for you to do that, to, yeah. to move around there and There was, dodge. but I got, I got trapped. Yeah. I just jumped But you need back. levels too, right? Like, you need levels to go up and down because if, if the horizontal beam comes and you're stuck at one level, that you're too. kind of screwed. You need a lot of options. Yeah, you do. Um, but yeah, he's, he's working on uh, Load Runner now, which is his, his one's called Fool's Gold. Um, and he's got, um, he's working on the AI right now. Go over to that other side. Oh, 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 did it not get me when I'm hanging down? No, you got up in time. Did I? Yes, you did. Or is that like a thing? The other side's oh, no. better. You could jump to the other side. Oh. Uh, uh, Almost. Ah, ah. God. Damn it! <laughs> I gotta get a hundred. Then we'll play two player. <laughs> hundred. Okay. I just need to get that's, to that. That's that's a pretty high score. Oh, yeah. terribly. <laughs> ah. The ones on horizontal give you time. And same with the um. The light, the white light from above, gives yeah, you time. Yeah, gives you well. a lot of time. So actually, there's four things. There's well, the, the white, white light is the same as the disintegration. Uh, it's the same as the because it's the same as the vertical dis disintegration. See, there it's just the edges. When the white light comes, it destroys everything from the white light over to the edges too. So, yeah, it's, but it's kind of the same thing. It's kind of the same thing. Yeah. It has the same timing, is what I want yeah. to say. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think waiting till there's three on the side is a, oh, uh, yeah. is a good idea. And that is the cycle of this game. There. It builds... <laughs> it builds uh, from, the in, from the outside oh. in. And That's not good. Okay, still have three. Uh, now four. It's lots of. There you go. Now you can go up. Yeah, you just need to just tap it to turn there around. There you go. Lose that. Yeah. And now there's five. Now I'm feeling now you're doing more well. safe. 88, 89. It's literally like just the seconds you survive. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, you don't get any bonus for anything. It's just each block coming down. There you go. Woo! 100. Woo! 100! And then it fills the center in, and then it does it over again. Yeah. It kills it from the outside. Neat. Yep. I like the um, the starting screen, too, the Inoue, that you have that, that tower up the middle instead of just a flat. So I think yeah, at one point I played it, and it was just a flat bottom. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, the last version was But you can't actually version. climb up to the middle, in, in, like, right from the beginning, which I think is, is, is good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Work your way up to that center point. Now I think it does get harder, but I'm not sure how. Like know. more things disintegrate because it doesn't build any faster. Um, because it's based on the, the ticking clock, right? Yeah. But more um, horizontal destroying things might happen. Yeah. The. Uh, oh. There is definitely an element of luck. Ah. No, oh, you're no. screwed. Can you hang off? Can yeah, you there. can. Oh. You have to know those tiny little tricks that yeah. help. Oh boy. Oh good. Maybe I should. Nope. It's good I got off that. Mm, ah. Yes and no. You Still could get smooshed. Still in danger. Still in danger. Ah, it's building up. There we go. Get up there. Ooh. 200. Come on. What am I doing? Stay up there. More options. <laughs> now it's building the center again. And there's no button in this game. No. This button doesn't do anything. Feels like it should do something. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, nope. it does. 205. Woo! Oh, you're doing really well now. Yeah. I've, I've picked up a couple strategies this, this yeah. go around. 
that just help that just tiny little bit. Yeah. Lots of room. Like staying at the top as much as you can. Yeah. Waiting for there to be at least three on the sides, so there's options. Oh god. Oof. Oh. Oof. Oh. Oh. Destruction. <gasps> It's fairly short, but it's it's not annoying. Music, no, no, no. It, it takes quite a bit of skill to make a tune. Oh god! Uh, you can drop down. Uh, one to the right needs to drop. Uh, yeah, I can drop down. Uh, oh, there we go. Good. Oh my goodness, an option. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yay! <laughs> I don't know if anything is like getting increasingly crazier, like like more destroying, more things coming down. Not that I can tell, but uh, it's still pretty like random what happens where, oh, yeah. other than it it degrading from the edges and then degrading from the middle. And... Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Nothing happened, please. Don't drop. Three hundred. Three hundred. Wow. Woo! James, ever. do you feel like it should be speeding up? 305. I don't think it should speed up. No. I like the steady pace of yes. it. I think if it's not getting harder, which maybe it is, um, it's not visible, more things could happen. Like mm. the destruction and the rebuilding can be faster because the drop, the blocks dropping are almost inconsequential mm. to... Um, if you go beyond 100 points, the game gets harder because there will be more unclimbable pebbles. Two blocks high oh, or more. That makes sense because it there, does stack There were. Them. Yeah, there were. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Because it, it did... The pace doesn't change, but the, the, the structure of the screen changes. That makes sense. Yeah. If yeah. it should speed up, it should be very, very gradual. Um, yeah, no. because the yeah. only time blocks come down is when it drops, so it can't speed up the destruction, can it? <sighs> Not really. No. Because... It doesn't build other than block dropping. I like it. I like it with the same pace. I yep. think. I think um, th it builds this anxiety of. Um, oh, me. We're gonna play two player. Two player. Woo. Sorry, Atari box. You gotta go. Yeah, three no five. Atari support. Very good. That was a good score. Yeah, that was a really Very good happy score. With that. I think you have to do. Oh. Oh. Two player versus. One single player. Yeah, there we go. So, we're both on here. One is red, one is blue instead of a white character. And this is kind of a, a neat thing because he's provided a practice screen that has every possibility on it. So you can see here, there's a, a double jump width that you can do right here. And this one is a, is a jump to a, a ledge that's one up. Oh, and we do block each other. Yeah, we do. So there is, it is a versus. If it was a pass through, then it would be like there is no cooperative mode. Yeah. Because there is no building. But I guess co op could be like if there was a co op mode, it'd be like both of you have to survive well, to a certain level. Are you? I mean, you can play it one of two ways. You can try to screw over your your That's the true. person you're playing with, or you can just try for both of you to last as long as you can. So. Oh, Zer says something. I wonder if there's some games are impossible no matter what moves you make. Yeah, is there a board that can be happening where there's no spot that you could be on that was safe? Like, there's things crumbling, and there's too many towers, and there's no spot where you could climb up or jump off, yeah. and they're all, like, being destroyed. The board, you mean? Well, because it's random, so yes, you could... Well, maybe not. Maybe he's programmed it so it's not. I don't know. Yeah, 305. Okay, so let's let's do it. So it's zero zero. So this must be rounds. Oh, the colors are different. Oh, because that's a blending of red and uh, blue. The purple. Very smart. So we alternated the red and blue but with flickering. Oh, and oh a that's win. it. Boom. Oh, I see. It is versus. Gotcha. Yeah. Whoever whoever lasts the longest. Yeah. 
it would be cool to have uh, the, the round number or the number of blocks that you've survived as well. It's like, it's not necessary because it is a versus, but I think it would just be, it would, would be neat to know how many you survived in, in total. Oh god. Dangerous. Dangerous to sit in a spot where you can't uh, get out of it. And you just hope a block doesn't come down. shouldn't look away from the screen, because looking away from the screen can kill you. And pretty much you're forced to go to your side. Well, with two people, you, you, can't, you can't pass each other. Ah! Yeah, you can't pass each other. Yeah. So you could both go to you an can't, island? No, you can't occupy the same no. block. So you actually completely block each other. Any vertical I suppose spot. you could jump over someone. Like, if there was a gap of two, you could jump across? You, we could try that. You want to... When the opportunity comes up. Yeah, if it comes up. I'm um, just curious. Theoretically, you should, but I think he's probably blocked it vertically. Like, there's no way. It's possible. That'd be the easiest way to, to say no, you can't pass. It's yeah. like red is on uh, three and blue is on four. So that means red can't go past to the right and blue can't go to the left. Who is red? Oh, Tanya is red. Sorry. Yes, yeah. I'm on the left. I'm on the left. Ha ha. All right. Push, 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 push. No. <laughs> Doesn't work. So right now you've just killed yourself. I have pushed you into um, dying or anything. No, no, no. We're both just trying to last. <laughs> At this point. We're not trying to be... <laughs> Damn, this is bad. No, you can still jump over. Right now you can jump over. There you go. That was a good idea, too. Uh, yeah. Dangerous. No, no, what? Ha ha, ha woo! Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, we didn't, what, try for the... I don't think over. we had that opportunity. Because it has to have a dip. It has to have a two. Somebody it has to be two across. Into. Yeah. Jeez, why is it picking that spot? <laughs> Blocking me off from everyone else. Divided. Oh, it's rebuilding. Ah! Run down! I feel like I'm... Ah, no! <laughs> no! First one to score five wins. wins. Oh, thank you. That makes sense. Yeah, yep. that five makes is a good amount. A, yeah. good, a good, decent length of, of, of a game. Unlike other uh, two-player games, it's not even. As soon as the game starts, the, bo the, <laughs> boards, go there? the board on the left and right are, are different. Yes. Because some games, it's like, no, we're going to make it even. Like it, like Tetris games, we're going to drop the same pieces for both of you. Yeah. It's completely fair. It's random. Yeah. yeah. This one is, oh, God. And I'm stuck. And I'm stuck. And I'm stuck. See, that could have been a spot where it was like... Oh, I thought I made it. Oh, no. Mm. You won. Yep, but we got to try zero. that thing out. We got to try that thing. Out. Do you want to just try it on the uh, opening screen? Oh, I guess we could. I yeah. Wanna, I want to do it in a game. Well, if you can, that's good. But yeah, we'll try it. it we'll try it in a game. See if it. See if the opportunity comes up. Yeah. We need a. We need a. A gap and be able to access each other. Ah. ah no, no! Stop it! No! <laughs> Panic! <laughs> Really well balanced two player game. You have just an 
enough time to get out of the way when, uh... Okay, so I'm gonna go down. Oh, no, I can't. It's not enough. Now there is. Okay. Oh, damn it. Oh. Almost had the opportunity can you, can to try it. Can you go to the opening... Can you reset it to the opening screen? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can do that. I mean, Dan I'd already knows the answer to this. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. if I go here... Uh, can you jump across? No, that's not a good um, spot. Here is a good spot because I have to get on that. No, ledge. I can't. I can't go past. No, it. I didn't think so. Uh, what if? Uh, no. Mm. Turn around, and we'll both go down at the same time. One, no. On three. One, two, three. No. <laughs> Somebody's gonna press it first, right? And then, and there's and also no. Can't, no. There's uh, also gonna be a priority. You would need a double. Oh. Uh oh yeah, you'd have to have a pit, like a really far pit, and then those yes. two. Yeah. And jump across. Do yeah. you know it? Do you know if it's if it's like hard coded That you can't cross each other's where it's other's like pass? One is one is at X and one is at Y, and if X always has to be smaller. Like it compares the two. I'm I'm sure that's how he does it. Because that is the easiest way to make sure you don't move in terms of programming because yeah. it's such an easy compare not crossing is hard-coded yeah okay yeah. that so makes sense so it's not a, a collision thing. yeah because if you could have say this was here here yeah you could jump from there to there and have the guy down here yeah, yeah. but it, it he's saying you can't cross which is which is fair yeah 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 Okay. Uh, one more, or it's up to you. I'm gonna quickly. Well, <laughs> you want to play solo for a second? I'm just. Gonna, okay. Yeah. I'll play. Run out for okay. a moment. Yeah, I'll you can't go more. into a column when another player is in it. That yeah. Sense. That yeah, that makes sense. So I'm gonna play one more solo game. And we didn't find any clues. Not that I could see. I mean, we didn't try every uh, test case, but... Uh... Oh. Ah! 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 Oh my god. <laughs> Kept getting forced over and over. I was playing around there a little bit. Okay. Let's try beat 305. Not gonna happen. Actually, it could happen. Oh god. Oh god, get up there. Oh my god, what? It just... Did I do that? Did I jump out of the way? That was a very funny little jump move. There, that's it. Do you see that? Oh, that's a funny move. Watch this. Boing. That's hilarious. So you climb up, you start climbing up, and then you push to the left. Went and you can do a, a jump off of there. That's hilarious. I love that move. 305 is a high score? What? People in the forums must have gotten higher than that. I mean, not on this build because it just came out, but um, beforehand. I don't think 305 seems that high. I thought there's people getting in like the thousands or something. But I'll take it. I'll take it. World champion right here. <laughs> world champion Tower of Rebel. Woohoo! My world record is undefeated as of this moment. I need to put it in highscores.com quick before somebody beats me. Then I can have the cracked world record uh, trophy after somebody beats me. Okay. So there really is a. Uh, Everybody saw the pattern last last game, where you have to wait for three, so that there's option. Two is not an option. Three is a good option. Three accessible ones too, not just three, because right now that's that's an equivalent of one on the side there. Now there's two, I would say. Now there's three. If I can get there in time. I'm up to the top, and there we go. Now I'm safe. Now that's like the first hundred, if you can make it onto here, and, and stay safe, of course. And it's 
kind of like 100 per wave, almost. It probably equals out to. Oh god. Um, this is a dangerous spot because I can't move anywhere. See, I'm almost, it almost, it's almost built back up when you get to 100 again. Because the center is rebuilding. So I pretty much survived three waves. Full waves of building. So there's 100. Can I get up there? No. Right here. Ooh. Let's get up. So the tactics are stay as high as possible where there's lots of options. Jump to the sides when there is a block of three or more accessible. Oh god. Oh god, no, no, no. That was really close. Hurry up, yellow. Oh, I should go the other side. But sometimes it just puts you in a position where, nope, um, you don't have an option. There's no, there's nowhere to go. Don't go there. <laughs> Do you know I confirmed that 305 is the highest score Woo! in the world? <laughs> right now. <laughs> that he's kept track of. <laughs> that people have posted, I guess. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, I should go there. No, oh my god. almost better to be hanging sometimes too because you can That's... move really quickly when you're hanging Maybe. Depends. Depends. but face in the direction you want to go because that saves a tiny bit of time mm -hmm. be in the middle have options on both sides yep. if you can and you missed the really cool move that I figured out. Oh! But I'm not going to show it because I'm playing Super Serious. No, no, no. <laughs> Super Serious. Super Serious. Super Serious. No! No! No, that's bad. This is bad. This is very bad. No! Oh, good. No! No, this is terrible! <laughs> no! <laughs> no way out of that. What happens if you roll the score? Is it only three digits? There's kind of a fourth digit mm. there. There could be a fourth digit there. It looks like it's enough room. 999? Nine, nine, nine. Mm, maybe. Well, a 056502, uh, that is up to you. You can roll the score. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. A wave is 96, I think. So about 100. 100's a mm. good kind of measure to to, mm. to keep track. Each, each full wave, yeah. yeah. Hi, buddy. Um, yeah. So I want to show you the the cool move. Okay. Watch, watch this. You climb up and you you climb up halfway. Mm -hmm. Oh, you push off. You push off. Push off to this two squares behind. Yeah. So you so kind of you kind of it looks better like here. Oh. And you kind of skip over a whole block. I just have never done that before. Oh, I think. like push off. Yeah, because I think that's new here, that you're able to um, stop yourself halfway through a climb. Mm. Oh. And it always checks if you are, if there's a block underneath you. Because you saw that it disintegrated and then mm. it dropped down mm -hmm. immediately. Mm -hmm. Oh, after 9999. Nine, nine, nine. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a high score. That's a pretty high score. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's 100 waves. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's a long time. That is a long time. 100, no. 10. Isn't it? Wait, no, 999. Nine, nine. Yeah, yeah. Yep. 100. Uh, ah, yeah, so. Right. Ah, a lot of fun. Tons and tons of fun. So, everybody can download that right now mm. um, in the Atari Age forums. Oh, cool. Um, this is uh, a build he silently put up a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. Didn't announce it. Yeah. He just changed, changed some information on the top post, which okay. doesn't alert people. Um, so you can download this. The only thing it doesn't have is the, um, the music mm. in the intro, mm. the, uh, save high scores. Okay. So when you turn it off, it goes away. Mm. Um, I think that's it. There was another thing that it doesn't have. Um, oh, and the pause button. So 
there's no breaks. <laughs> and once you're Fair committed enough. to rolling the game to 10,000, mm -hmm. um, you don't have any breaks. So you better uh, better eat and go to the bathroom first. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to move on. Sneaky. Yes, mm -hmm. very sneaky. Well, he wanted, I think he wanted me to, um, to show debut it, it on, show it on nice. the show. Yeah, thank and you. And that is a very way, good way of doing it. Mm -hmm. And also making it available for people who are updating and watching. Yeah. Because <laughs> it doesn't alert you. It doesn't alert you. No. When, yeah. Unless you add a new reply to it. Yeah, that's true. Doing an edit, which is good because then you'd be constantly bombarded with people like yeah. changing small corrections yeah. to, to text It's like those and stuff. notifications. Okay, okay, I yeah. get it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so the next game is Text Adventure 2. We did play the first one a couple weeks ago. Um, he made a new sequel really, really quick. Mm. Um, this is a work in progress. There are some line count issues, so we're going to be playing it on... We know there were some before, I think, yeah. Uh, on the first one. This is yeah. the sequel. Um, so we're going to be playing it on an emulator. Okay. Because we can't. It'll just not even work. Not work well. It'll yeah, yeah. Display will drop out immediately. Um, so I'll just turn that off so we don't have the sound of that. And we're going to switch over to uh, the emulator and play text adventure. And it's not a text adventure. It's a graphical adventure and the items are text. Yeah, which is awesome. <laughs> which is a really, really clever twist. Yeah. There we go. Let's go down to text adventure. Um, text adventure two. And let's set up the right everything correctly. Boom. Text adventure two. There you go. Oh. So okay, this is uh, made by Sart Satters Satters Faction. Mm -hmm. um, Satters Faction. Satters Faction. Um, so this has not been posted anywhere. Uh, so this is an exclusive debut of this game. Uh, this build is from March twenty fifth, twenty twenty. It's a thirty two k DPC plus game. Other games by him: uh, uh, Text Adventure and Text Adventure Two. Mm. So that's his whole catalog. Um, he says, hey, thanks again for uh, using my game on your show. Oh, look I at this. Look at it. Tells, Very different from the last one. Yeah, and it tells you what you're on. Ground? Or at least what your, your um, hand slash bullet slash weapon is on. You can see it jumping and flickering. So it says you're on grass and you're in the forest. And it's kind of cool. That's a tree. That's grass. So he's kind of added a little bit more to the game, <laughs> telling you what everything is, because it's all blocks, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I think? It's all play field. Someone needs to come up with... Oh, thank you, thank you. Grass. Uh, uh, the Atari Vox needs to read out. Grass. Grass. Tree. Trees. Grass. Then literally you Danger. have an Atari... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that'd be awesome. That would be Someone very cool. Someone needs to work on that. Then it could almost be like a... Reading uh, out. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Like uh, someone whose uh, heart of sight could play it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Seeing impaired. Seeing impaired. Is that right? I don't, I don't even think that's right. Blind. Um, <laughs> blind. Um, no, because they don't usually use blind. Ah, oh, ah, where did what? I end up? I ended up on Why another screen. Why am I so screen. flickery? Because uh, it's a work in progress. <laughs> it's flickery in the floor, forest. You're by candlelight. I think you went to the bottom of the screen and you went but it looks like somehow got onto another screen yeah by passing through somewhere you're not supposed to probably uh thanks again for using my game on your show i hope my fixes that you suggested made the game better i think they did just wondering like. since you had some good insights would you be interested in testing the sequel before mm -hmm. i post it it's pretty much done uh this time the evil gorgon and her sister stole the eternal flame from the temple Plunging the world into darkness, there is a key that opens doors. The harp that puts monsters to sleep and all also attracts other items. The shield which protects you from attacks, and since it's reflective, kills the Gorgon instantly and protects you from her stone gaze. There are three companions. The hero who makes you better at fighting. 
the seer. It's a trap. You died in the trap. Well, I was like, it looks like trap. Yeah. Don't know till or you touch it. Or is it a harp? It. Yeah. No, it's a trap. Oh, it could be, <laughs> could be harp. Uh, the seer who identifies everything Fire. around and also gives you a flash of the whole room when you press the button. Ah. Oh, okay. Ah. Troll. Press the button. What? Press the button. Okay, you don't have it yet. Um, but you'll get something soon. I hope so. Or at some point, hopefully. Ah. Sand. Ah. Oh, it's a step troll. Not a troll, it's a step troll. Did he hit me? Because <laughs> uh, he's gone now. I think you might have hit him with your dot, which I, I think you have a sword right away. Oh, so that, ah, so as long as I'm, it's You it's have to facing. face the direction, yeah. Gotcha, so I, I am able to. Defeat, yeah. So just don't, if they're faster than you, don't run away from them. Um, attack them. I think the descriptive text would be better if it was used more sparingly. Save it for non-obvious important items. Reduce the flicker that way. Oh, uh, yeah. Is that why it's flickering? Yeah, because... See, it's now it's not flickering because you're not in front of it. Uh, and also when there's an enemy in front of it, yeah. it's going to flicker too. And since it's so vertically tall, there's a lot. Of, there's a big chance of it flickering. Yeah, so maybe uh, he could put it so it only displays when you are... Oh, what was that? Hiss? 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 Oh, hiss. there's the door. I don't know what that says. I think it's blocking something, so we're not sure. Yeah. Okay. Rock. Oh, and make the button reset the game, too. That's a good addition. Alternatively, my handy-dandy BB text kernel should be, uh, could be used to have the non-flickering text <laughs> instead. Oh. Make sure you face it. Oh, yeah. you got it. Good. Just got to go. Um... Yeah, you could put it more towards the bottom where there's less things. Or he could put it at the top. So tell me Completely what this is. Completely at the top. Hiss snake. Oh, hiss snake. 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 Oh, he got me from the side. And the troll is either stepping or it's a step troll. <laughs> 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 or he's stepping on you. <laughs> yeah, because there's room at the top. Because that's Playfield talking about... Actually, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it's Playfield. And... And that is obviously. Oh, oh, there you go. Um, so you can put it right beside the playfield at the top. Um, if there is a kernel for that in BB, which I'm sure he is using BB for this, and that would be perfect because then there'd be no flicker whatsoever. In terms of that, I mean, when there's two monsters, there's going to be flicker. So um, everything's a dark level. Uh, until you get whatever. Um. The seer and then you can press the button to see the whole thing at the same time oh, oh it's a big wall oh you're in the crypt oh in a maze they're all mazes unlike the other oh, one where there was open. more it's an object oh the troll can go through walls that's not fair okay just be ready to face him with your god yeah so we don't know what that object is, or he hasn't named it yet. But well, you least... don't know what it is probably until you approach it. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, I like that. And that's like, you need to get here, but you can't. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh, it's a big loopy loopy. Harp. Ah, it's the harp. So the harp. So how do you, oh, I still have a, I still have a sword. Do I? Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, no. Am I dropping off the sword? No, you're not. You always have the sword. But I, I have to drop it to use the... I think so. But the harp... Um, I did read it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the harp calms the monsters. They freeze. Yes, it like does. Like the first one, I'm guessing? Except for... The dragon at the end or something? Yeah, the, the gorgon, which you need the shield for to reflect. His... The harp calms all the monsters. Go back out the same same way you came in. Yeah, looks only like one it. entrance, one exit. Looks yeah. Like it. There we go. Where am I? Oh, you're in the top part of the maze. He's asleep. Oh, did he regenerate? It just said Z Z Z. Oh. Yeah, they always they always. <laughs> That's hilarious. Or just Z, but. Uh, um, a thief that allows same? you to shoot. It is the same. And lets you get by any traps you might encounter. Okay. 
And there's a dot next to your character which is used for fighting the monsters. Just touch them with it. It won't function if you're holding anything but the shield. Anyway, thanks. Oh, an object came towards me. That was weird. And then it removed my harp. Oh, it's a gorgon. That's the only thing you can't fight with the, the, that the harp doesn't affect. Yeah, but an object gorgon. came towards me. Oh, I think it it's also attracts objects. The harp? Yeah, the harp puts monsters to sleep and also attracts other objects. Oh. So as soon as you pick up that other object... Well, I didn't. It just came towards me and then it swapped out with my harp and then right. the gorgon came. Did the Gorgon not move until it swapped out? Yes. Oh, so it does stop the Gorgon too. Let me try something. I, to... I feel like the, the the first one was a little easier. <laughs> well, it wasn't this dark one... the whole time. Yeah. It was a little simpler. This is a little bit more complex. It's a lot more objects. Yeah, yeah and then every screen is a maze. He knows drives me crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Because I've told him that. Yeah. It, I mean, it makes it more challenging. And then yes. and then the fact that the bad guys walk through walls is a little frustrating. It is. Because um, they just go straight for you. Yeah. See? Oh, my God. They just go straight for you. <gasps> oh, you got oh. him. Key! Oh, okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I know where the opening is. Do you have so do you have to drop the key to use your sword or do you still have yes. the is the key and the sword still the same? Uh, no. So you have to drop it if if, if yeah. something comes have up. To drop it and attack. Yeah. It's really funny that it says object until you can see it. Yeah. That's well, really cool. I like that cuz it it shows you your goal but and you don't also, know if it's in sight it yeah. changes. Yeah. And if it's not in sight. Yeah, that's, that's neat. really really cool. Yeah, Carl G. I have to be very careful when I'm going in a room mm. to like go back. No, because it regenerates. So I have to drop the key in the room and then attack yeah, and then pick it. up the key. Yeah. Oh, you're better at this than I am. <laughs> drop it. Ah, ah. ah. Thief. You caught a thief? Oh, well, I've got the thief now. So that means I can avoid traps and. Uh, Allows me to shoot. Mm. Ooh. You can shoot? Yep. Oh. Excellent. So I've got the key. Or I will. There we go. And there's the door. Open the door. No, I don't need that anymore. No. I'm going to just put that way out, of, way out of the way. Yeah. So I don't accidentally run into it. Yes. What? There's a Gorgon. He killed you. <sighs> yeah, there's there are a few little funny things. But it said hiss. I thought it was a snake. Yeah, but I guess you don't you don't know hiss step you it, you don't know what it is until it Oh it's hissing. Yeah, so or basically it's don't stepping. open that door until you have your shield. Oh uh, don't go in that room yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, you can't yeah, kill yeah. the Gorgon, so Just like in Dragons in Adventure. So yeah, you shouldn't open the door until you've got everything you need. Yes. Which makes sense. Now you start okay. from the beginning again. So I know you where don't the get is. what you had last. Or actually you didn't have anything in your hand anyway. Remember no. the last game? I at least fixed that. Oh, that's a shame. Because that was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Look. Oh, you do. It is the key? Oh, it is. It is where you. And it's there. open. Yeah, don't oh, go in there. Okay. Don't go in there. So but you know what? It's good because then, then by your game being continuous, yeah. you're learning and you're you're still playing. Yeah. So I I and that's what it should be. And if you really want to start over, you can. Yeah, it would be resetting. frustrating to have to get everything all over again. Yeah. I I. Hard. much it's more like a life you've lost a life if yeah. that makes sense yeah and you can go back and get and you oh, don't have lives i assume no you just die it's infinite yeah. so this is where we have to return the flame i don't know get i haven't from seen the it. gorgon oh is I it believe somewhere maybe you haven't oh there's a trap you can avoid traps with uh, the thief uh, maybe it does. It doesn't seem to nope. be killing you. Oh no! It oh, did I've kill got you. the thief now. Yeah, you got the thief. Right. Okay. So I didn't, and it killed me. But so this step, is step, 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 troll. So in here is there's where nothing. you got. Oh no! No, there's continuing... multiple screens. There's multiple screens with the same maze in it. So you want to oh. take the outside, I think. You don't want to be in the middle. Oh, but maybe I'm, I'm continuing your game. So Are you, you dropped off something somewhere, didn't you? Uh, you died. and The harp? Yeah, I don't know. 
Did you restart it completely? I don't remember. Yeah. These crypt Well, not rooms. completely, no. Well, it's not the same. Temple. See, you shouldn't be able to do that. I'm outside the temple. No, I... I it's, it's a... That's how you get from room to room. I think that's just part of the maze. I don't think so. I think it is. I think I'm outside the maze. No, I... I oh, he, the Gorgon got you. Two objects. Obviously, you need to go there. Let's go back there. You can't kill the Gorgon with your sword? Um, it... You need the shield. But the shield could be one of the objects in the middle of the room. So you could just be. have to avoid him? Uh, hmm. We will see. I think the thing is to the south of... Get him. Get him good. <laughs> Stab that snake. Sit. Atari caught a huge spider. Is it huge? Yeah, I got up in the morning. I was in the bathroom, and I looked on the wall, and there was a fair-sized spider. Yeah. Um, not huge. Depending on what part of the world you're in, huge <laughs> might be an exaggeration. But you're around here, we don't get... Yeah, we don't get huge <laughs> spiders. I would say it was about an inch around. An it's inch not, in size. It's, it's big, though. We <laughs> big get big. tiny little house spiders, yeah. usually. Um, and so I'm looking at it going, oh, that's a big spider. And as I'm in the bathroom, Atari comes trotting in, immediately sees it, <laughs> picks it up in his mouth, and runs away with it. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh. And, and he didn't eat it. He just picked it up, spat it out on the floor just outside the bathroom, and yeah. started playing with it. Of and I was like, oh. Cats are cruel. And then, so he did that about two or three times, and then all of a sudden I hear, and I'm like, okay, well, that spider didn't <laughs> last very long. It's the end of that spider. Oh, it's sorry. Getting your yeah, protein for the day. still have my... Uh... Yeah, yeah, that's good. Maybe I need to use that on the Gorgon. Maybe. Does it go through walls, or does it? I don't know. Try it. I'm lost. Oh, he's purring now. Go. He's dreaming of a spider. Oh, it does. Oh, it go does. Through a wall. Um, so that's at least even. Uh, I don't know where I am. I need to get out of here. Yeah, I don't know where you are either. <laughs> They're in the forest area. It's infinite forest to the north? Yeah. I don't know, Just maybe. repeats. Oh. Um, yeah. I don't think you saw, but I was like, oh my gosh, Atari. Just. Okay, so much for that. I saw him eat something. Oh, that that's was the spider. That's all I saw. That was the spider. So. Uh, yeah, who would have then. thought that a cat named Atari would like to play with his food? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. But, like, before I could do anything about the spider, Atari had already... That was it. It was done. He was like, uh, oh, spider. I'm, Very like, excited. lost in the dark forest. Everything's dark in this game. I think... Uh, oh. There's too many forest. Too much forest. Keep going down. Keep going down. Eventually. It's just a blocked wall all the way along on this edge. Oh, maybe you're not actually going anywhere then. Yeah. Maybe it's just bringing you back. I'm That's resetting. The end. I have oh. no idea what's going on. So wait, can you go up? Have you ever gone out oh, from the town? The I need to go back there. Uh, I think it's blocked. Yeah. Well, it's not necessarily blocked. There? Yeah, you can probably go around. Oh. It's a step thing. <laughs> Whatever it is. Go oh, step, step, step. It's a troll. Step but going trope. to the right uh, goes to where the key and the uh, yeah. So I don't I don't want to go there. What's the object? It's the key. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Then That's where just I leave it there. It. Oh, where you dropped it? Mountain. I don't think we've been here. That's south of the door. Oh. There's another door. Another door. What the? Oh, did I? Maybe you need it? maybe get oh, get your key and go down to that door. Oh, maybe. And open it and see if something kills the key you then. immediately. Yeah. What is... Oh. There's the door. That's how you get to it. Eventually. S okay. No. Eventually. Yep. Let's go back and get the key. Because they're all yellow, so I would think the same key opens that door, too. Mm -hmm. Not the safest of things to do, is to have the same key no. for multiple doors. Or maybe... Maybe it's one big open area. Maybe there are multiple keys. How do we get back out of here? What is... What is happening? You can't go out. You, you're in a totally different area than where you started. Go down. So 
the dead end. I've, I've gone in a direction that I can't get back from. Yeah. I'm resetting. No, don't be silly. <laughs> like, I've just exhausted every... No, you haven't. Okay. No, well, you let's haven't. find... Let's go you back. You came up from the right-hand side. Let's go this way. Came up from the right-hand side. Oh. Yes. <laughs> or did I? Oh. Yes, you did. Oh, wow. That's very mazy. Yeah. That goes in and out of uh, yep. Yep. the same very, spot. Very, very complex mazes. Especially in the dark. Hiss! Snake! Why did the Gorgon hiss? I guess it hisses as well. Maybe it's like trying to, like, oh, it's just a snake. It's okay. Then well, it turns they hiss. into a Gorgon. It's just something that's, that hisses. What is a Gorgon? Uh, Does it have snakes for Then you go back hair? up, and then... Doesn't it have snakes for hair? Is that the thing that... Um, like a Medusa? Medusa is the one that has, turns you to stone, and you need... Cause Maybe it's he's, a Gorgon. He's describing it uh, like you have to get the shield to reflect it because it turns you to stone. Well, maybe. Yay! So the key opens both doors. <gasps> object. Object. Get the object! And it's an object that is not guarded. Is this the right way? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Hopefully it's a shield, because that's what I need. It's an eeld. Good What's sign. an eeld? It's a good sign. Shield! Yay, I don't need the key anymore. I don't think so. Because I've opened two you've doors opened with two it. two doors, yeah. It goes so down. now you can go back through that other door and deal with the Gorgon. Yes. Am I going the right way? Uh, nope. Oh, oh it was a Gorgon. You, you killed it. Oh, I did too. There you go. Now you can get figure out what those objects uh, are. Well, you one don't have of to them, get them, but you should figure out. One of them there. should be flame. the flame. You need oh, the flame no. back to the temple. Deal with the Gorgon again. Because. Oh, no, it's another path. There we go. Yeah, it is very flickery. Very flickery. One is. Harp. I think you're going to need the shield to deal with the Gorgon. So. And what? one is the flame. So maybe. What? We'll go see. Is it, it's in a room I can't get to. It's in a room by itself? Oh, you need the harp to attract it. Oh, now you have the flame. So I guess the question is, take the flame back to the temple? There we go. Yes. So I take the flame back to the temple. How do I get out of here? And then you might have to, you'll have to go back for the shield. Yes. To go through that door where the Gorgon is. Yes. Which is annoying, but, you know. Okay. Um. Yep, Medusa. Yeah, Gorgon is a Medusa. Is a Medusa. Oh, okay. Yeah. Medusa is, is a, a specific, specific Gorgon. Gorgon, I think, yeah. Right. So, should I put the flame near the exit here, go back and get the shield because there's another Gorgon to deal with? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Because there's a Gorgon in this room that's going to appear as soon as I exit it. Yeah, so right there. And yeah. then bring them both out. I want to bring everything out. It's a lot of stuff. Um, Do you need the heart for anything else? If anything else is trapped, but I doubt it because that seems... Yeah. This is probably where you died. And that's why the harp's in here. I don't remember there being another obje object there. I think you came in the no, that side. No. You got killed by the no, Gorgon. No, there might be more than one harp. I remember there being... I, I had a harp. The harp was in a room by itself. And then I died, but... This is where you died. Oh. I think. No, I don't think I had the harp when I died there, though. Okay, so I'm going to put the shield right there. Bring the flame out. And put it somewhere I can't access, unfortunately. Oh, silly. <laughs> nope, the object was back in the middle of the room. Oh, God. Well, that didn't work. Your fault. You put the harp there. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So I need to go over to the right, then I need to go down. That one took a couple hits. And then I need to go to the left. Or down. Or 
Where is it? Oh no. Oh no 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 no. This is where I got the shield. And I came back out. <sighs> yep. So this is another Dorgan. That's no, Gorgon. That's the door you opened. Yeah. That's what you want the shield for. Where's... Where what? Is it here? Oh, is it here? Yeah, it was in the crypt. One of the crypts. That's... Is that the Gorgon? No. Troll. Tari's making noise. I know, he's snoring. 1230. Don't have much time left. No, we I gotta think, move on to the other game yeah, soon. Yeah, we'll do the last one because I have to. I have to run around one thirty. So. To leave this game for another day. Yeah, we can come back to it yep. though. It, it, I mean, we've I've we've, lost my. Oh, there it is. We've done okay. a fair amount of gameplay, so. Yep, and it's really good. Like. It is really a, good. A nice step up from the other one. Like, there's a lot, lot more complexity. You can do, go down the, the, the edge. You have to go down the edge. The do only I? way to get past the crypt is to go down the edge. There. Here you go. This is the same room. Is it? Over and over. Yeah. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No, it's fine. I've screwed it up. I've wrecked it, wrecked the maze. I'm I mean, in somewhere I can't be. We can be. play it and and graph it out, and then, then yeah, you know that's that'll be much easier. That if if we take a more um, focused approach, then it yep. won't be that bad. But we haven't done that, so. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay, we're done that. Yep. We're done that. Very very good upgrade, um, to uh, text adventure. Mm. It's a lot more complexity, a lot more things you have to do and get to get past things. Um, so good job, uh, Satyr's faction. Yes. Um, so we're going to move on to Zookeeper for the Yay. 2020 Harmony Games. I'm going to try and get a, uh, another top score in that. Um, but we're going to be using demo number two um, because that is what uh, everybody else is using for it. So look back in. So might as well record our top scores. Mm-hmm. Atari Fox Plus. Ready? No, no squishing cats. Let's put up the graphics. There we go. You can see it too. Everyone else can see it. Oh. Oops. I didn't hit the button. Okay. Sorry. My bad. Ready? Mm hmm. Atari Fox Plus. Ready? Ready. So. This is the 32K CDFJ game by John Champo from Champ Games, aka Johnny WC. We last played this March 11th, 2020, so uh, where it's is been it? not uh -huh. too long. Oh, why isn't it there? I'm going to have to put it on. One second. Okay. Actually, it's probably in. Hold it. Yep. The um, yesterday's. Atari Fox no, Plus. it's, it's going to be in the homebrew. Because it's been out for a little bit, and I've floated up this since, and it's, so it should be there. Here? Yeah. Go left. There. To right Z, at the to bottom. Z. Oh, yeah. Down, 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 down. Should be the bottom one. That one? Hold it down. Hold down the button. Hold down the button. Oh, just keep it held? Demo. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. 0308 version. Hold down the button. NTSC. Yep. That's the one. So uh, the score I got last time was 265,450. And we have to play this on um, left set to A. Random items. Okay. And B is doesn't matter. Mm. Um, and standard, you have to play it on standard mode. So there you go. Go for okay. it. Uh, so what was your score? 265. 265,000. Which is not small. It's not large, but it's not small. Come on, so.
So you get points for jumping the animals. Um, you get more points for jumping more animals at once. That's where the big points come from. If you do anything else, you jump multiple animals. Um, you do get points for trapping them in the center at the end of each round. Um, you don't get a ton of points, but it's bonus. So if you can, get them back into the center by the end of the game by getting the net and smacking them back in. So you'll get a bunch of uh, bonus points for all of this. It's not insignificant. No. Ten, 10,000. And this is a very challenging uh, part for a oh. lot of people. That's for sure. He, 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 he has a very weird movement, so... <laughs> it's very different than a lot of games, but it is true to the arcade, so... Oh, goodness. The way to do it is just wait, press the button, oh. and just jump straight up and get on it. Yeah, the straight up is the thing. It's like, if you try to move... He is very oh, floaty. He's he moves so very weird. fast. Which this is, is very worst. good. Not if you really. know how to do it. But he's very mobile. You know what it is? You have to jump it as it's coming towards you. So you don't hit your head on it, yeah. Yeah, because you can't jump over. It's, it's really strange. Very much like the logs in Frogger. And the top level yeah. of Frogger. Yeah, terrible. So, 17... 710. Yeah. If anybody is in the chat, could you type in T? <laughs> or you could do it. 17710. Oh, Dan ABC got it. Oh, thank you very much, Dan ABC. All right. <clears throat> Who's running the contest. So, yeah. <laughs> that's a good person to type it in. Yeah. yeah. It's very unlikely I'm going to beat my score, but it's possible. So you have to get up to a pretty decent level to get that kind of little, um, um, that kind of thing in this, no. uh, this the net. Oh! That's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> the first level goes very fast. So that you have a feeling of accomplishment. The yeah. other ones go up, take a long time for the level to finish. To, yeah, get through. So we're going to try to jump two snakes. Pretty well. It actually multiplies more than just jumping one snake. It, mm. it goes up quite a bit. Let's see, 100 for one, but 500 for two. Yeah, that makes sense. So if you start jumping like six or seven of them, it's like mm. tens of or hundreds of thousands. Yeah, I, I can't jump and go over. Like, that's what I need to practice. Just tap. Tap once? Just tap it. Um. There we go. And then you wait. Yeah, okay. Oh, and touch them. Touch her. Because I was finding, I was flying, and it's like, oh my god, this is so yeah, annoying. But you have to jump up and tap. tap. Just a slight I, I, tap. Obviously, that's what I'm missing right now, is the jump tap. Get three there, you get 2,000. So, is it worth getting those extra bits for uh, points? Those things that appear? Yeah. yeah they're, they're worth a little bit. Oh my god, that was good. Yeah, they're worth a little bit. Mm. Ah. You really want to get up to the uh, tiger yeah. or the lion. Is that where That's you get all the huge points. You jump a bunch of tigers and you're like, crazy points. Watching the world record holder play this, yeah. Um, somehow, I still haven't figured it out. They get them going in the same direction. They get them all going in the same direction, and they're all grouped together, going around in a <laughs> circle, and There's they're getting some... millions and millions of points at once. And I have no idea. I've, I've tried to analyze how they're doing it, but I just can't figure it out. There's some some trick to it. jump at the 
first edge of the... This is the level I usually have a lot of trouble with. The, 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 the Mises. The Mises. And, and a little hint, if you get the net, you can jump them without fear of dying. So that's a little... A little this is just so much stuff on the screen! And the moves go so fast around the edge. They destroy your brains too. Levels get really long. Like I'm only halfway through the level now. It's still going. Look at that. The rhinos really just wear the bricks, don't they? Yeah, different, different. You have to start getting like groups of four or five. is if you're in kind of a bad position, you want to uh, hold down the button. So you just keep bouncing? So you just keep bouncing and you're on the floor just for like a second. Damn it! It was like one second before the end! <laughs> now I'd have to do it all over again. Oh, oh no! 137.50. Good. Strong Donkey Kong vibe here. Well, yeah, yeah. Up, up, up. Yeah, yeah, it's a real score. It's a, not a great score, but it's Ugh. oh, much faster to scroll through on this game than other champ games. It's a really challenging game. There's just so many characters on the screen. So it's good to kind of keep it under control and like do the circles. Yeah. Especially on the higher level. <laughs> so it's not just like, like when I was doing that moose level, which is the one I always have trouble with, by the end the whole outside is just filled. Filled with with creatures. And there's almost no spots to see through the land. And that's that's where I have the real trouble. how this game came about um, is kind of interesting. That it came about from a graphical glitch. The Atari 2600 does. And he found, um, John Champo found it uh, when or whoever did the title screen. Might have been Nathan Strum. Uh, oh, that's what I have the most trouble with. Is going against the going against the speed of it. Mm. Yeah, just a jump and a tap. Yeah. I didn't. I don't even feel like I hit the button there. It just kind of don't bounces. Don't be too long. Ugh. Smack into a coconut. Those coconuts are great. The graphics oh, are. Oh, yeah, beautiful. They're slightly shaded. But anyway, on the mappy oh, screen, um, the title screen mappy goes across to the top of the screen. And what he noticed when uh, making the the full map across the top You is... do bounce. You bounce off the edge of it. Oh, off the side of the screen? No, off the edge of the... Oh, uh, if you, if you? you hit the corner, you, you bounce off of it. Oh, that could be why. Yeah, no, I it. couldn't jump up because of the, the coconuts. You didn't do as good. Don't write that one down. <laughs> it doesn't matter. There's no point. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I have to get this. Once I get this, then... Yeah. The actual zookeeper part is fine, but... When people were posting that this is the level people have trouble on, like level three to get past. Yeah, because it's a weird... It, it, it's it's a very... You have to get used to how he moves. Yeah. It's not normal compared to other games. No, it's a very it's not, different feel. Yeah. It's, he doesn't... He um, moves too quickly in the air is the problem. Um, moves, sometimes that's good. 
No, but I Once mean, you know how to that's jump. not the mechanic of most games. You jump, and then you hit the Slowly. button, and it's like he's running through the air. There's no yes. floatiness to it. Well, it's and... very much like the movement here. He jumps a lot. Like, yes, a yeah. A third of the screen, he yeah. jumps. Which is why it doesn't feel right on when you're platforming. Right. It, 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 it's, you just, I think once you, like, you, you, you've been playing it, once you get used to it, you figure out what you need to do. But yeah. It's, it's a very weird. Yeah, once you get used to it, it's like, that's yeah, fine. It's, fine. it's not really helpful you yeah, move so it's much. It's just very, it's very different. It does remind me a lot of games like this from this era. Very donkey Oh, yeah. It's another game where it's... And when you're at the top, you kind of stay at the top, wait till he throws it to the right, and then go to the left. And jump up. You didn't quite get it. Terrible! It's not where you're supposed to die. I need my lives. especially since I died fourth level. All the animals are loose. And there's more that escape from the center, too, after all. That's why it becomes really frantic. See? 4,000. They're worth getting. Kev. Hey, Kev. Didn't even know his name. There we go. He threw it to the right. Yeah, you Going can do it relatively left. quick if you do it boom, 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 boom. And there's this bonus Damn level. Damn it. It's not a bonus level. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a not. misnomer. It's really hard to can, jump over that. Yeah. You have to just know the right. You have to get really close to it. Like, you have to go right there. There. Right there. Um, somebody pointed out in the forums where you should jump, and it's like, after that, it's like, much easier. That used to be where I died all the time. All the time, yeah. Let's see. Oh, don't trap them. Not. I need to jump them. Yeah, the but points. then they, they become really chaotic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is the moose level. Is it? No, it's, no the it's the rhino level. The moose level is not the moose level. Oh. I know that's the problem. It's, it breaks everybody out. Well, so do the, the, the moose, though. I noticed that the moose go bang, 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 and they, they break a lot of the bricks, too. Yeah. To the lion. They're nuts. They just destroy everything. Close. Got the points, but died. Oh, the Ryans. This is the level. Yeah. send them. They'll just come back. Yeah, but do they all come back out and going in the same direction? Is that how that guy was able yes, to get them going? So maybe maybe the, the tactic is to try and build the wall, get them in there, because this one starts at the, right at the beginning, and then as they filter out of a hole, they'll be running in the same direction. That's the key. But I can't figure out how to build that hole. De always! Right at the end! But if it's full, it's a madhouse. they'll break a hole out and then they'll come out. I don't know. Oh, got a better score. 163, yeah. 850. Maybe. Um, he builds it very specifically. Just around the bottom left corner. But I've tried that over and over again. Even the in the arcade version, because I wanted to make sure that it's not like 
John's implementation that was an issue and, and the way the animals come out. But I can't even do it in the, um, the arcade, and that's why I was playing the arcade version. Yeah. But I can't, I can't make it work in the arcade either. Mm. So... But there is some way to make the animals, you trap them, you get the net, you put them back in, you configure the brick wall in a way that they all come out the same direction. And it's so, it looks so much easier. It's still hard as hell. You guys still know. It's a mouse! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that level, that specific rhino moose level. This. Is... Oh, I can't even jump twice. Look at that! Well, you hit your head on it. Yeah, because I'm moving before I'm jumping. Yeah. It's terrible! <laughs> oh, I can't go backwards! That's. I'm trying to turn around. And it's making me move. Which is really... Go for it. It's perfect. Oh, oh no. no, it's not. Go up over there. Yeah, you Yay. have to go up and then run across yes. the air. Yeah, you're, you're moving too quick. Which is super weird. It's a super weird thing because you're expecting like a Super Mario kind of movement. It's unlike which, any other ah. game. Any other game. <sighs> yeah. No game moves like this game. <laughs> and it's just a matter of getting used to it. Bad tactic to get back in there. Because it's almost the end of the level. We've got some bonus points. Oh, 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 they're going mad. Oh, they're all escaping. Oh, oh, you almost died. Oh my god. Ah, it's so hard. <laughs> right by the end, too. Uh, yep. It's because by the end, they're all out. Yeah. They've, because it keeps adding more and more as time goes on. Because right now, there's like six. And then there'll be seven. And then there'll be eight. Or just keep escaping from the from the cage in the middle. Find the uh, corners really weird to deal with as well. You're better at the corners now, right? Yay! They do all come out going in the same direction, though. If you trap them all in once, yes, they do. They were all traveling in one direction. I'm not saying they were traveling together. They were oh, traveling no, no. all in one direction. They weren't going in opposite directions. After you throw them back. Yes. In. I've not experienced that. Either. Did you not see the last level? That's exactly what was happening. Okay, you can do it. Here comes, here comes the trap net. Where is it? Come on. Uh, oh, there's too many! On the right hand side. Ah. You throw them all back in. All of them. I, good luck. Of course, there's no one. No, didn't but you got bonus. Yet. Hey, Johnny. This game is Zookeeper. <laughs> um, we're trying to get to the... Um, he knows that. It's his game. <laughs> it's, it's, we're trying to get high scores. Tanya just got another... That was uh, much better, better than the last round. Okay, put in your name. Oh. Uh, y. <laughs> R. <laughs> um, we're doing the Harmony Games. Yeah, 2020 Harmony Games. And I've got a better score than what I put up there, 163. I uh, last time I got 265, 450. What? What is it doing? Come on, be good. What? <laughs> it's really sensitive. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you I, trying to put? T O. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> don't you have a standard? You, I don't care. You're changing your name. I don't care. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> now the people going by the arcade machine is oh. going to know that you've got high scores on all the machines. <laughs> well, when I'm, in, when I'm actually at the arcade. Oh, you have a different one. I just see oh, okay. okay. Or some variation. What? And nope. dead. No. Nope. No, keep going. Nope. Johnny. That's pathetic. Did you beat mine? Oh no, no. he's no. got he got like what did you get? One million eight hundred and forty thousand. Oh one million. Uh, that's that's impossible. It's very possible to beat that. Yeah. You just have to get up to the lion stage and like jump like four things. <laughs> or six things or something. How far is the lion stage? What level is it? It's 
I just passed where I die. Yeah. It's so frustrating. It's the next creature, I believe, after the rhinos. Oh, that one. Yep. And I cannot... That's the one that kills me every time. It's the rhino one. Tanya's finally getting a hold on Well, the, the jumping. The jumping is, is annoying. The, on the, the platform level. Yeah, because it's a very weird mechanic. No, I'm nowhere near being yours. No. <laughs> Not even close. It's this. It's, it's a funny one. It's she like gets, you're running in gets, air. She gets too frantic. No, I, I try to move as I jump, but that's not how the move... That's not how he moves. You jump, and you have then to get move. as high as you want, and then move. Yes. Because you don't arc. You just run. It's like you're running in, <laughs> running on air. You literally are. Yeah. Which is very strange, but... Very But it's, it's how the game works, you know? There are a lot of older games that, that are kind of like that, so... Let's see if I can... Goodies. And I think the score of the goodies goes up, as, and they change the to the graphics. They do, yeah. One. Uh, One point eight million. Yeah, I can't see myself hitting that score anytime soon. No, I think he did say he got a really good lion. Yeah. Like a, like a, a really like a half million lion. Oh, head. nice. It's, it's it's very satisfying when you have a game that can do something like that. Yeah, it's like massive scores. Yeah. yeah. Five gets you 15,000. Oh, I was just about to die. Jump? Where'd it come? Damn it! Where'd it go that way? Coconut! Those coconuts hit your head hard. Yeah. They seem to be floating. Yeah. No. Oh, Ooh, that's a good one. Yay! Yay! My hero! This is not an easy one. It there looks like it should be. Yeah, it but it's, just it's jump the over timing. It. Yeah. You have to get very precise timing. Oh, these meese. These meese are the worst. The meese are the worst. Jumping. It doesn't matter, it's such a long <laughs> level, and then they'll come out and they'll all run in the same direction. Uh, I'm not sure of that. I, 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 you won't even ask, test it out as a... Ask as a, John. No, I don't, don't tell him, don't tell him. <laughs> I want him to Push. actually try the tactic and see. It's either a thing or it isn't a thing. Don't Knowing tell it. him. Oh, come I'm, on! Thing stasis. Oh, seriously? He ran you... right out at me. Oh, four, four when you trap a, a creature, oh, they're all the same all the time. if they're coming out the same hole, I believe they do. You're four. not gonna do it. Oh, I got no. five on that one. Yeah, that was a good joke. It doesn't last long, does it? Oh, look at that! They're staying together. That was a good score. Oh. Now they're all messed up again. Just, just keep them coming out of one hole. I'll try. I'll trap them, but there's going to be more now. Well, yeah. Here they go. Just, just try to get them out of one hole. I'm not saying it's going to last for very long. Oh my goodness, it really doesn't last long, does it? No, not these higher levels. Are they all going to come out counterclockwise? Oh, a lot of them saying? are. No, one just came yeah. out clockwise. Now, you know why? Because they're oh, getting released and the excuses. hole is too big. You have to get them coming out of one hole. There we go. Oh, it's an 80-20 rule, but I think there's also a 99-1 rule. I love the work is testing. Yeah. I must say, Zookeeper is a game that I play for a couple hours at a clip and really enjoyed. Although, so I should be focused and finish up soon. It's 99% yeah. done. <laughs> That's true. The vicious <laughs> tiny 1%. Oh, wait, we need to wait. This is a good score. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, it is a good score. Uh, wrong way. It's very fast, though. It's good. 
it does jump a bit. It does. It's, yeah. Oh. See, <laughs> it's it's. I think it's the controller. I think it's a so little. Too. It's a little mushy. Mushy controllers. Yeah, I know. You're making fun of me. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Two sixty six eight hundred. Very good. Did that beat my Is old that... score? Let's see. It just beat my other score. Just. Um, but I was very lucky because I had like six moose over and over all together going in the same direction. Missed it entirely. Terrible. That was awful. Just beat it. Woo! And, uh, oh yeah, I was going to say... This is scheduled for release this summer. That's what the Atari Age forums says. Um, and John can correct that if that is incorrect. Um, and since there's no, uh, not very many uh, retro gaming expos or gaming expos, mm. maybe maybe late fall there might be some. Um, I don't know if we would be waiting for that at all, if there are any scheduled, but you can't really even rely on one being coming out, but there's so many there. Um, oops, just missed your feet. Oh, uh, just missed it. Oh no, get up there. It's, it's the, it's the, uh, jumping and running on air. Oh. It's terrible. Has that been cancelled already? Yeah, you were planning originally August 2020. Yeah, the PRG has been cancelled. Um, sadly, so they're trying to get a, a really good time next year. So they're booking right now for next year. Because they didn't get the time of year they wanted this year. Because um, they usually staff it at the same time. Which also presented an issue for Atari Age going, so... If there's a bright side, that means Atari Age will be able to go next year if they get the right timing that doesn't interfere. There's other uh, retro gaming expos. And down to the bottom. No, and if you notice, the bottom oh, platform God. slowly disappears yeah. as well. Oh. Bad timing to move the show to an earlier date. It was, yeah. But even at the later date, when was it? It was like October? October, November? PRG? Yeah, I'm trying to... <laughs> yeah. Well, they didn't, they didn't choose to move the date of PRG uh, earlier. They wanted it at the exact same time as they, they usually do. In their previous years, yeah. But this the forum, the place that holds PRGE or the city of Portland or somebody gave, Had already gave, gave priority, gave to, priority to somebody else and bumped them. Yeah, I don't think they said they bumped them, but it was heavily implied that they bumped them. Um, and they, they had already applied previous to it, so they had to move it earlier, unfortunately. Mm. Um they always have it at the same time. So hopefully they'll be able to get it this time. Oh, I, I hate the jumping so much. Get out of there. Too dangerous. There you go. Oh. It's <laughs> awful. It's awful. It's really bad. Oh, third week of October. Okay, there we go. It's nothing so, to do with you, John. It's just the, the mechanic of it is so weird. Yeah, this is very true to the exactly, arcade. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and he's super floaty in the arcade. So you're currently third in third place with your top score. Really? After myself and Erwin. Really? Yeah. Are we the only people on the leaderboard? No, uh, Arena Foot's there and Dan himself. Oh. Is he's there as well. Funny. And John should put in a score too. <laughs> but he'd have to play his demo version, not the not the newest release. He'd have to play this version. The second demo that was released. Sorry, how's it going? Are you on camera? No, you just got a camera today. Oh your back foot is on camera. This little gray foot right here. 30,000. <laughs> I can't remember your last one was 50. 
I think mm. you got 50. So the rhinos come before the moose. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so it's the moose that are really the problem, not the rhinos. Well, the rhinos... Rhinos are bad. Look at, look at that rhino. <laughs> that one rhino is just going bonkers in there. He really wants out. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're the very moose, destructive. The moose destroy the bricks with their antlers. I don't think I finished my story. Um, <laughs> I did about the bricks. For anybody who doesn't know the story about Mappy being made and the title screen on Mappy, and there was a line down the center, or down Mappy, the, the word at the top on the title screen, and uh, it was Ooh. doing a really weird line of it. it wasn't expected. And, and then John thought that could be very uh, useful, and it looked like bricks, because it's very, very hard to make vertical lines on uh, 2600. Oh, it's really hard. Um, unless you're using like one of the characters. Oh. Too many. There's, it comes a point where there are too many coconuts. But these were see-through lines and they could be repeated over and over again. So he thought, that, that looks like bricks. Oh, you got, oh, nice. Beat your score. And your last score was 75. Bested it just a bit. So I'm going to play one more and then we're going to sign off. Yes. There. Don't know my alphabet. Nice. Here we go. Last attempt. <laughs> I doubt I'll I'll get it. I think both my top scores were because of just random flukes of getting really good lineups. Well, some of that is part of it. It is part of it. <laughs> you get a good, better score because you get some fortuitous. Uh... Sleepy kitty. I know. He's he's like it's Sunday. Why are you guys playing? Games? You should be sleeping. So unusual. Should be sleepy. Resting up. Yes. Like cats do. Eight hours of being awake, sixteen hours of being asleep. <laughs> Some bonus in the early levels, but For those, yeah, that's true. They're not too bad a bonus. See, I hit ten thousand when I hit this level oh. from keeping them in. in uh... So I think in the early levels, keeping them oh, trapped. Oh no, I can't. Oh no, he's still throwing to the right. So you do that? Yeah. Hi. More points? Yeah, I'm getting a thousand oh, each time. Cheeky. But he's gonna throw. Yeah, eventually. You're it's gonna... actually very hard to do that. What I just did. Yeah. <laughs> I never almost do it, but he wasn't throwing anything, so no. I was like, "Well, let's do it." Oh, Give it a try. God. Bricks almost have a third look now. Never noticed that before. Nice. A third look? Like this look? So this is a composite out. Um, third look? Um, like on different outputs? On oh. Different Ataris? I think that's what he's referring to. It's like, well, they look differently on like RGB or the emulator. Um, you, this also has a switch so you can um, set it so they're solid too. Oh, I didn't land. Ah, oh. it's one pixel away from landing that. Oh. This is very. You just have to do slow and controlled yeah. movements. Yeah, you, you you can't do it too fast. And then you wait till he throws to the right. You have to entice him to the right. And then you block. Yay. That's it. Yeah. But you have to get up there it's quick. It's the jumping. Because you have to get there really quick. Otherwise, you can't it's full of coconuts. Knock yourself off or anything like that. Oh. Oh, it's not oh. a bonus level! It's lies! 
Do you get extra lives? When you complete it, but you can die. Oh. You shouldn't die in a bonus level. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, you're just, just, what are you doing? What? That's so crazy, too. Oh. oh, man. Oh. Oh, no. So instead of getting life. a bonus life in the bonus level, I died three times. Yeah. That's okay. I'm happy with 75 for now. I have to play play some more. Yeah. Play some more kids. I'm happy with beating my previous score. Yeah. So even if it's just by a little, that's good. Yeah. Oh my god. Come on. This controller is very finicky. There we go. Mm -hmm. 3D. Oh, a 3D. Oh. A 3D look? Let's take a look at it's probably because of the... The color the shifting? The color shift. <laughs> yeah. Gives it... Oh, those elephants are so slow. Yeah. Oh. I actually want to, I just want to see them come out. Oh, it's too slow. Yeah. You know, this round you get the... You get it right... The shovel right at the end. Mmm. So that guy's going clockwise. And another guy came out and went counterclockwise. And now there's two counterclockwise and an elephant went clockwise. It's uh, just lies. Yeah, but you've got a whole bunch of holes. What I'm saying is if you have one hole. Because I did it and I trapped them all in and one hole broke out and five of them all came out going in the same direction. Yeah? So, out of the same hole? Yes. So if you only have one hole opening... That maybe it... It may dictate which direction. And it, or it may have something to do with the movement of the actual animals as well. I don't know. Like how they're bouncing around on the inside, but... Or it could be random. Someone's... What was that? Someone was saying 80-20 rule? No, that was completing a... That was about completing software. Like getting oh. projects done. Gotcha. Something completed. So this is what he did in the world record thing. He kind of made a little corner like that. Yeah. So that when they come out... They bounce and then come out. They come out counterclockwise oh. and somehow for some reason that corner and x bricks in oh would force them to always would come force out them in a certain direction oh i see okay but i still couldn't replicate it in um the arcade version mm. like, it, I, it I must have to be very specific and maybe it depends on the animals on the level too maybe it's specific to a level yeah. it, he seemed to be able to do it all the time really and that, and he just got, just jumped ten at a time. He was just racking massive points. Interesting. Oh, seven. They always run away from you. Oh, maybe it's the direction. The direction of the animals is determined by where you are and where they exit. Oh, so let's do. So this. they always run away from you. So if you're closer to them, they'll run away. So if you just always stay on one side, they'll always run away. Mm. Oh, thank you, Brad Uh And he says, by the way, this is my favorite arcade game. So well, then that's why you would know that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's, is it the direction you're facing then? Yes. Or the position uh, of the yourself? The position of you relative to them, I would guess. So if you're closer what to the hole, <gasps> if you're closer to the hole they come out of. No! Uh, that was oh a no! major fail! <laughs> I had everything! Um, that kind of makes sense. So if you have too many holes, they're all going to be in different relative positions to you, so they'll go in all kinds of different directions. If you have one hole, and you're always in one particular position, they'll always go in the same direction. Yeah. The direction you're facing doesn't matter. It's yeah, oh. how close, how close you are. How close you are to them. It has nothing to do with the direction you're facing. Yeah, John, uh, John mm. just mentioned. Interesting. So it's where you are relative to where they come. Out. Mm. Just run away. So you you'd have to kind of force them away from you. Yeah. So for example, if you only had one side free. No. Built up one side and you always stayed on one side. 
would kind of force them out. Well, yeah, if you built up three sides, I was going to say, and then always force them out one side, but you were always on the top or the bottom, like in this scenario. Oh, see, they're all going out one direction. They're all going out one direction. See these mews. Boom! Boom! Yes, okay. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. It's the line. I finally made the <laughs> line level. Oh my god. Lions and tigers. Oh my. There's no tigers. <laughs> and bears. And bears. There's no bears here. Are there later levels? No. Oh. Lions the top level. Is it? Yeah. It doesn't get higher than this. You just stay on this level. Well. There's, like you'll there's finish more it. levels, but it just gets more lions. But there's no other creature past this. That's what I'm meaning. Why am I only getting 500? I'm jumping, I'm like, jumping like a million of them. Oh. Oh, is that it? Oh, almost 400,000. That's good, though. Yes! <laughs> Best score ever! Woo! 395, 950. Very nice. Do you want another round? No. Okay. We have to go. Okay. And I'll definitely retire on that awesome score. Oh, yeah. There is past one already. Yeah. Yep. All right. Dangerous. Um, excellent game, of course, as always. Zookeeper. Um, I'm very happy with that score. You only get 500 points for jumping a billion animals. No. 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 <laughs> what, what was going on? It, it was like some of the times it looked like I was jumping like four animals or five or six. I went 500. And then the other times it was like. 60,000. Oh, we have to oh. review that footage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, so let's take a look at what's coming up really quickly in our schedule. Um, now that we have Space Map Explorer. Yeah, we're going to have to set it On cartridge, uh, we're going to go for the patch score. Oh, that's still playing. Of uh, 4,000. 4, um. 4,000 is the patch score you need to get for that. So we'll be uh, scheduling that maybe in the next. Yes, we'll do it in the next episode on Wednesday. Mm. Such high score scores must feel very satisfying. Yes. Yeah, it's nice oh. when the scores are just high. It's <laughs> yes. like, woo. And that's a huge scoring game. Like it goes yeah. into the tens of millions. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is fairly unusual for an Atari game, yeah. actually, too. Um, I mean, Atari port. Mm. Um, so next episode on Wednesday next stream is going to be Jack and the Beanstalk Super Mario Sisters Super Mario Sisters 2 Cosmic Avenger early proof of concept um, by uh, Daryl Spice Jr. Mm -hmm. um, it was made for John Shampo oh. but he turned that into Scramble and uh, the other game that I always forget the name of something something um, Instead of Cosmic something, Avenger, something. but I believe John Champo's thinking of doing Cosmic Avenger. Yeah. And that's why I'm kind of showing it on the show. Okay, cool. Um, and then we're also going to be playing Space Man's Blorf as well. On Super Wednesday. Cobra Arcade. Super Cobra Arcade. Yeah. Something, something, something. Yeah. Something, something, something. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for interpreting that, John. Yes. <laughs> you figured it out. Yeah. And then on the next Friday, we're going to be playing Kaboom, Colo Kaboom Deluxe by Daryl Spice Jr. Nice. He is pretty much finished that hack yeah um, where it's a two-player kaboom one person dropping the bombs one person oh yeah bottom. that'll be fun that'll be fun and we're gonna be playing uh, flappy bird and space battle and another game that i don't know yet after 10 more games so it's mm -hmm. at the bottom of the list after all the millions of other games mm -hmm. he's got on his roster yeah, to, yeah, to yeah, make yeah. john um and uh that is it for now we still need to do that the beam rider patch but um and i got very close you did really well so i might want to attempt you're getting that. close yeah maybe i'll add it to the next friday yeah don't know yeah and um so thanks everybody for tuning in mm -hmm. to this unusual sunday show yes but it allows our european people to tune in yeah. like thomas yanch 
Yeah. Uh, where's my? Oh, let's get the chat up. So thank you very much, uh, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you, Dan, for hosting that uh, homebrew high score. Yes. Uh, games for com competition. Thanks for making earlier game work, earlier show work. Yes, you're very welcome, Carl G. Carl G. Dan AVC. Johnny WC23, uh, Thrust, Nighttime98, oh, a new person. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Make sure you uh, subscribe and follow so you can uh, know when we're uh, playing again. A Prow7, Cafe Man 2 d 06502 uh, Metal Lunar. Lunar 7, Cafe Man 2D, uh, Gredums, Dianoid, whose game we played earlier, mm -hmm. who's uh, we were Very able to cool. play a finished version of his game, mm -hmm. Tower of Rebel. Thank you, Dianoid, for letting us do that. Yeah. Uh, Lem McAllister, Charles Reese, D Train 37, uh, say Gretums, yeah. Mm -hmm. Phil. And Phil. <laughs> Your name is Phil, by the way, now. Whether you like it or not, <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Cool show. Very much needed at these times. You're yes. very welcome. Yes, please come and join us anytime. We like to um, have a little bit of something that's stable and, and regular yeah. and something that you're used to. Yeah. Keep going normally. Yeah. And yeah. as it always has been. Yeah. So I hope this has distracted you a little bit and we distracts us a little bit. Yes. Yeah. And it's fun to yeah. set aside a couple hours to yeah. play some games. Just play games. Yeah. Good or bad. It's still fun. Yeah. yeah. I mean, did, our, our gameplay, yeah. not the And we did very well today. They're all great. Yeah. Tower of Rebel, I was told, 305 points was the top score yeah. in the world you so far. You beat Dianoid's score. Beat his own score, yeah. which is just crazy. Yeah. And but. I got a top score in the competition. Nice. And my personal best on uh, on Zookeeper. So I'm, okay. I'm very feeling very accomplished today yeah. <laughs> on those two. So thanks for tuning in. Yeah. And we thanks will see you coming. on Wednesday at uh, the later time, 6 p.m. Mm. Um, so unless something changes, but it probably won't. So we'll see you then. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll be doing my live stream commentary of my film uh, in a couple, couple hours, hours, in two hours, yep. in one and a half hours. Um, it'll be on uh, Facebook for a perfect 14. We'll be doing a live video stream of that, doing commentary. So if you're interested in that, don't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll be back on in an hour and a half doing another stream. Mm. Nothing to do with video games. Okay, so see you uh, next time. Bye-bye. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.